people try to use verse 29, okay? Because they want to do the works of God. And look what Jesus answered and said unto them, this is the work of God that ye believe on him whom he has sent. Now people, this is a classic verse here that people will try to use to prove that believing is a work, okay? Because what do we teach here? Believe in the Lord Jesus Christ and thou shalt be saved. We really hit the whole, it's not of works thing really hard. Okay. And then you have people that say, you know, we believe people have accused me of believing that in a work salvation, because we believe that you have to believe and they'll say believing is a work. And I'll take them to Romans four. I think it's Romans four. It says, but to him that worketh not, but believeth. And then what usually happens, they'll take me to John chapter six and verse 29. Okay, and look what it says. You know, these are the works. This is the work of God that you believe on Him. Right there, that proves it's a work. Therefore, we all need to go Calvinist because that's the only thing that teaches it's not of works. They just believe you don't have to do anything. God just saves you. You know, and if you teach that you have to believe, you're teaching a work salvation. And John six twenty nine proves that. What are y'all going to do with it? Come on, what are y'all going to do with it? I don't have a clue. No, I'm just gonna. I, I know. I know exactly what I'm gonna do with it. I was hoping you knew. No, but listen, salvation it does require works, but not our works. Okay, it's the work of Christ. Okay, it was the work of God. Those are the works that get us saved. And you know, more specifically, the works of God. It's the work that Jesus did on the cross. Okay, who was it that provided the bread for them? When they're in the wilderness, it was Jesus that did that. Who, what did, you know, they just had to sit down. They had to do what he said. They just had to receive it, didn't they? And what is it that we have to do? What works do we have to do in order to be saved? None. We just believe and he does the work for us. That's, and Jesus did that when he died on the cross. And so another way too, you could look at this to show that this isn't teaching this, that believing is a work. You know, a way to maybe rephrase what Jesus said is when they, when they asked him what works they needed to do, he's basically saying, do nothing. Okay. So I get, and a way to illustrate this, you know, cause you see the question they asked, it was kind of an unfair question. It's like the classic question. When did you stop beating your wife? Well, you can't really win when you answer that one. Can you, if you say, well, I did, I stopped. Or have you stopped beating your wife? Well, yeah. If you say I stopped, it means you were at one time beating your wife. If you say I haven't stopped, well, it means you are still beating your wife, right? You know, so, you know, it's kind of one of those unfair questions that get asked sometimes. But listen, uh, you know, have you ever been working on a project, men, and your wife was questioning everything you were doing on that project? Kids, what am I thinking of right now? What am I thinking of right now? The latest... The bathroom, yeah, y'all know the bathroom, all right? I mean, I'm, I'm doing the bathroom, and she, I mean, constantly when I'm working on that, she would come in, and she would see something that didn't look right, and, uh, you know, what, what's, why does it look like? And I would always say, I have a plan. And I always did have a plan. It wasn't always a good one, but I always had a plan. I saw it, and when we were, we were hanging up, we were hanging, I think it was when I was hanging the crown molding, there was some stuff that didn't look right, and I was just like, and, and I did, I had a plan that was going to work and that did work. But I remember I was just like, your mom is going to come in here and she's going to ask me about this. And you know, and I, I was like telling her, you, you are not allowed to come into the bathroom because I didn't want to hear her ask about it. All right. And so, and, and you know, one of the things, and so men, when you're doing one of those projects and your wife is constantly questioning you, why, you know, why does that frustrate you? It's because she doubts you can get the job done, doesn't it? And you know, and what is it that usually happens? Okay, she's questioning you. She doesn't think you can get the job done. For some reason, my wife didn't think I could be a good electrician and a plumber and a carpenter. I don't know why she thought that. All right, but at the same time, when you're getting questioned like that, it gets kind of it gets kind of frustrating. It shows they don't trust you. It shows they don't believe. And so, what usually happens in that conversation? You know, they come in. They're trying to help, and it's like, you know how you can help me? Don't. Do nothing, all right? And that's basically what Jesus is telling them. These people, they wouldn't believe Him. They would not trust Him. You know, what do we have to do to do the work? You know, here's the works of God. Believe. He's not saying that because belief is a work. I think it's the same thing. as You know how you could help me? Do nothing. 
Don't help me. Just trust me. Let me do this project. Let me get back to work. Let me do what I've got planned to do, and you'll see it'll be great. And in the case of our bathroom, it wasn't quite what I promised. But let me tell you something. With what Jesus promises us, it will be exactly what he promised. We can trust him. We can count on him. And you know what? He doesn't need your help. Okay, He doesn't need your good works to help you get saved. You know what you can do to help your get set yourself get saved? You know what works you can do? Do nothing. Just believe. Just trust Him. And that's what Jesus is talking about when He says that here. Listen, believing is not a work. Okay? And I do not believe for one second that that verse proves that it is a work, especially when there's all these other verses that says it's not a work. So... You know, that, that is, that's a, that's a real bad argument. And so what we just need to do, we need to leave him alone and just trust him. So look what it says.